Well, howdy, folks. Down here in the Sunshine State, and as you can see, got the Mini out here, and it's got a hell of a lean to it. So, I didn't, it leaned when I had it up in Indiana, and um, we haven't dropped it, haven't wrecked it, and I didn't know for life of me what the hell was wrong with that. I was looking around, I know it's kickstand, but I couldn't tell where it was obviously bent or or anything like that. So I reached out to Lifen and they sent me a whole new kickstand assembly. So let's set this down here. So you can see there are four bolts in it uh, that bolts it up underneath it. So it should be pretty straightforward installation, but I'll still record it anyway. I'm gonna just got my little jack stands here assembled put together so i'll get the bike lifted up and of course it's starting to rain so but i'll get it lifted up and uh kind of show you what uh what it takes to install the the kickstand assembly so it's pretty straightforward so i'll be back here in a minute all right guys my camera has been acting up so anyway we got it on the stand and i'm gonna get under here and show you where these bolts are <clears throat> okay there are two all right there where my finger is there's one I started loosening that because I thought it was recording and my camera wasn't uh, there's another one here there's one here and then there's one right behind it um, the problem I think I'm gonna have is I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this bar down and out we're gonna try without taking the exhaust off. So let me put you on the stand here. Now, and see what we're seeing. There we go. Okay, the one, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter wrench. Now that might not be the case if you don't have the uh, uh, exhaust, but this one's got the KP Moto exhaust and that screw is going to be a real pain and it is going to hit the exhaust pipe. And let's see if we can loosen this other one up here. I don't want that rolling away on me. And then we'll, if I can get this off without, uh, well, doesn't matter before we put the other one on. <clears throat> we'll kind of lay them side by side and see if we can tell what's wrong with it. Because like I said, we ain't wrecked it. Yeah, it's gonna be a pain. And nor have we dropped it, but you need to do these bikes are pretty little so they ain't gonna have too far of a fall to the ground that's for sure so i can see that bolt is going to be i probably am going to have to loosen this exhaust which i was hoping not to do i thought this would be pretty straightforward four bolts easy off and then of course this last one here is Of course, maybe kind of tricky getting that other bolt out because that exhaust is right. It's hitting the exhaust. I wonder if I can just loosen. Ah, oh, let me. Let's go over here. I wonder if I can loosen. Oh, which bolt is it? It's that one right. right there that is where this hanger is on so let me let me get uh, that looks to be about a 12 mil and maybe a 14 
person and you think you have all the tools you need, you don't. Well, it's not a 12. And that's probably a 13. And the back is going to be The back's a 15, so let me grab a 13. All right, let's see. Yep, yeah, that's a 13. We'll just go ahead and loosen this up. That way too, it may give us a little more room to swing uh, this exhaust pipe down to get the uh, bracket out. This piece is also for your foot peg. So it's just a bolt and a washer in the back. And then that assembly there. So that did allow us to drag it down a little bit. So let's go back over here. See if I can drop this bolt. Okay, now the brake lever is kind of in the way so I'll see if I can run it forward to get past that into this hump here there's not enough room to tip it down nor um, get it past there. So, let's see if we can go forward. Problem is, then we got this engine thing under here. And it is in the way. Let's see if I can get wiggle it past that. Okay. A little trick and of course there we go all right so the foot pegs got to go down all right so you're seeing that is the original one and the foot peg needs to go down you need to slide it all the way forward so you can wiggle it through and Let's set this one here in the same orientation. I can't really tell. Back up a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, it does kind of look like maybe this one, maybe this side is tweaked forward. Because if you look at the orientation of the foot pegs, See how this one, yeah, this thing is, this whole thing is like tweaked somehow because this has got, or it's a different style foot peg, but this original one has got this little metal thing and a screw here that's holding this foot peg on and this new one does not. Looks like they just slide on but you can definitely see how this part here is more horizontal to the ground, whereas this one here is more up and tipped forward. So yeah, man, I don't know. I got no answer on that one. So, but we'll park you back down here. See if we can get this thing back on here. So, let's get 
get that through the exhaust there. And then that's got to go like so. Because I got to get past that little hump down there. So it's got to get over the brake pedal. Let's go forward. Maybe I can get past this. Yeah, you're probably not. I don't know if you can even see what I'm. There we go. Got to pass that. Okay, so now I got to get the get it over the brake pedal. Okay. And we're in place there. So let's put this one on. Get it snugged up. That's really not that bad. Get my ratchet. And like I said, I got the KP Moto exhaust, so with the stock exhaust, I may not have that issue. Not sure. I'll have to. Well, the one I got at home in Indiana, the blue one, it sits up good, so no issues with that one. Screw going over here. Well, where's them holes at? Yeah, I'm wondering if they had a. Let me loosen this one back up a little bit. A design change or something because these screws look to be off just a hair. Screw going. Of course, you ain't got a whole lot of room there. You got that exhaust pipes in the way. I may have to get try to get those going first, which is not easy. Hmm. Yeah, it's like uh, these holes are lining up, and the other side's off a hair. We'll get it eventually. Listen, that bolt up. If I can just get these started, and maybe I should try to start those first because they're more of a pain to get to. Okay, got that one started. This is the real pain one. The one right under. It's right underneath, or right on top of, I should say, the exhaust. And kind of really need another, need another set of hands here to hold that screw or to push that exhaust down because I can't. Uh, it'll move a little bit. Uh, turd. I'll lower that kickstand now so I can see where. It's even threading into the hole. Yeah, this sucks. Okay, got that one started. Let's drop this one down. Got that one started. And let's get this one here. Yeah, it's definitely you never tell it's off a little bit or something. Holes ain't exactly lining up. And these Harbor Freight ratchets do not ratchet the easiest. That's, that's not bad price for them. I mean, it's a pretty complete set. Of course, all my other tools and everything are at home in Indiana. So, uh, like all my gear wrenches and... But if I ever move down here, I don't want to buy a bunch of tools 
and then have duplicates of everything. So, I forget what I paid for that Harbor Freight kit, but it's not that bad. And it does have a lifetime warranty. So. Of course, the fun thing is going to be getting it off the stand and not dropping it. I'll keep the other one in my stash of parts because I think it's, it's not the kickstand. It's not this piece here that's bent. It's the, it's the bar from what I can tell. But we'll find out once we get it on the ground how it's leaning. <clears throat> okay, now we need to go back over to the other side, guys, and hook up the exhaust. And got me a new tripod here. Amazon special. Okay, so now we should just be able to put this through. Hold that up. There is a kind of a locking tab on that foot peg, uh, so you get it in the right position. There we go. Bolt it up. Everything looks good there. Everything looks good there. So, let me <coughs> raise my tripod up. Had you guys sit down on the ground. So if anybody, I guess I'll put a link to that tripod in there. It's pretty cheap, it's like 15 bucks. And it works good, except when you don't have one of your legs all the way down. And for what I do, it works fine. Okay. See if I can do this without dropping the bike. Hmm, really need two things. Look at that, guys. The lean is gone. Sitting up good now. Yeah, this thing, I'm sure you've seen it in the other, when I first part of this, before I put it on the stand, this thing was leaning pretty good. I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't drive it anything around here uh, in this sand, because it'd fall right over. Yep, she's a bit dirty. But it is fun. Love these tires. Uh, drop the uh, air down to about 14 or 15 and it does super good so pretty happy with that so i guess we're gonna wrap this up and definitely a big thank you to lifen for sending me this part here let's see if we can dig gander out of here there's a sticker and if you're looking at it you don't but see this 
This foot peg here looks like it's tweaked even though it, it turns fine. That part looks good. I don't know, man. That was from me. There's a little marks right there. I was trying to see if I could tweak it back into place. But... Uh, these things come with what? I think a two-year warranty? So, you know, uh, no questions asked. They sent it to me. I had it in a, probably less than a week. So pretty happy with that, guys. So on that note, I guess we'll wrap this one up and hopefully uh, get the blue mini down here because it's well, it's October now, so it's getting kind of cool up in Indiana. Of course, today it's like sweltering. It's probably about 95 degrees down here, and uh, it's pretty freaking hot. But I'm going to post some videos. Uh, got the drone, so I'm going to fly it up, I'm teaching Hottie Mama how to fly it. We'll do some uh, short videos of you know the house down here and progress we've been making. Uh, I do have the videos out there of the what the house looked like when we first got it, which was mid-June. Uh, my last one, I was gone for here about a month, so she was sick. I ain't going to say with what, but I'm sure you guys can figure that one out. And didn't want to get cooties. <laughs> I would have gladly taken the cooties, you know, been here to take care of her. But anyway, I'm back, and we got a lot of stuff done. So, and these, I don't know if you can see in the background here. I need to bring my full face helmet on, but these are all the little roads we ride on around here. There's one right there. And then this one here alongside the house. Uh, you'll see them better in some of the drone footage, but these, they're all sand and grass and stuff. So these uh, tires work really good in that. But anyway, wanted to thank you guys. Uh, if you like this, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe. Um, I guess that does things for me, I don't know. But, uh, you can see this this project here was pretty straightforward, not too big of a deal. Uh, like I said, I'll put a link to the jack stands uh, down below, and my little tripod here for my camera. Uh, like I said, it was 15 bucks. The jack stands weren't that expensive, but uh, you'll have the link to them, and I'll I'll put the price in the description. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you got something out of this. Have any questions or comments, just uh, send me a message. Thanks. Have a good one.